was a canny trick our brother used in bringing us here. I'd expect nothing less of an engineer. Now, safety's off, lads. Let's free our king with our Ungi allies, shall we? I bet there's all kinds of poor saps trapped in those mines. Our engineer friend can free them if we provide some good old black powder distraction. Those dark elf wazzocks aren't gonna know what's hit them. Whatever that black arc throws at us, we'll crack their heads and send them back and back to Naga. Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Blue One Two Seven Nine Two. Here tonight, I present to you the quest battle for Malai Maka Ma Malakai Makaisen. That, that, that's a mouthful. Uh, quest battle for Spirit of Grungi. And like the previous quest battle, I decided just to do a, basically a replay of what I did rather than the actual battle itself. Because I kind of find it much easier to talk and get my words across rather than trying to do that and the fight and you know just juggling multiple things at once. So yeah, first start off with my cannons all grouped up. Mostly so I can try to get rid of this uh, group as quickly as possible without any uh, risk of missing. Or minimize the risk of missing. Two volleys and half of them are already done. And I had go go to like and Felix out in front already, so they can act for the system of slaughter because they're the ones best uh, equipped to deal with them. So the thunderers can just shoot them up. And my gyrocopter is grouped up in one spot so they can just try and melt all the door shards quickly. And these guys almost got close to my thunderers, but you know, I got my warriors in Russia in just in time. And I kept the slayers in the back because I mean, it's dark out, so we're going to throw some weird ass corpies or some shit in the box. Yeah, I just let my uh, thunderers and my cannons just do the work right now. Yeah, you see, they all kind of start running real quickly. Yeah, as soon as their artillery was gone, I kind of had these guys move all the way to the back. Uh, because these because these guys were starting to show up, which turned out to be every human faction you can think of besides Kizla. You have yeah the peasant mobs from Bretonia. You have fledglings from the Empire. Uh, as a bowmen from Brancathea, then I can expect expect that one. Uh, you have miners, more peasants. And I thought I saw some swordsmen. But yeah, no, I guess it, it was just play ones. Oh, and also in the jar copy too. Oh yeah, and then around this time that the dark cavalry forces also showed up. And yeah, they were packing some harpies. Uh, Black or Corsairs. Uh, oh yeah, and the Hydras, yeah. Yeah, I try to have my guys move the path. So they don't get the uh, cover bonus from being in the trees. But I also want to line up my Slayers up so they can deal with the uh, beasts. Yeah. 
issue was that some of the years, like the Dread Spirit, just kept staying in the spot. And yeah, that basically gave the Dark Rider and the Harpy and the New Fire ample time to just rush in and dark kick. Which I <laughs> not want to have. Because of that. And then they kind of just got stuck in combat. Oh, luckily, yeah, Harpies melt very quickly to Thunderers, so that was really okay. And so I just decided to rush my uh, slaves in. Yeah, except for the giant slaves, I wanted to save them for the high level. But yeah, uh, Rimstone Ben's Hour Cop is also going to be a short form of the They did not appear the way I wanted them to. So I tried to try to rush the giants or the slaves towards where the slaves were. And I tried to get rid of the torches quickly with my thunderers, but they kept in the fight longer than I thought. Oh, and this is when I brought in the. I'll demo. I think this this has to be like my favorite war. <laughs> this flying battleship. Oh yeah, and then I had my Jarrah Country try to rush in and try to bomb the forces here. Make sure they didn't start flanking me. Unfortunately, some of my bombs missed, so I kind of had to struggle with that. But the spirit of Gurney was there to provide cover fire, so it was all good. Yeah, my server was doing most of the work. He started filtering everyone and everything. And my allies were driving off the uh, previously defeated elf army to the, away from the map. So I can just focus fire on these guys here. And yeah, they start running away real quickly once they realize they're getting shot up. Enjoy this video. Uh, and yeah, I realize I never used the spear thing. I, I kind of regretted that part. It would have been really nice for these hydras. But anyways, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.